And the Egyptians so treated us, as it is said, Come, let us deal wisely with them, lest they should multiply and it come to pass that when a war should happen, they might join our enemies, fight against us, and depart from the land. And they afflicted us, as it is said. And they set past them to pass over them to afflict them with their burden. And they built stone cities for Pharaoh, Pithom, and Ramses. And they laid heavy bondage upon us. As it is said, and the Egyptians compelled the children of Israel to labor with the other. And we cried unto the Eternal, the God of our fathers, and the Eternal heard our voice, saw our affliction, our sorrow, and our oppression. And we cried unto the Eternal, the God of our fathers, as it is said, and it came to pass after some time that the king of Egypt died, and the children of Israel sighed in consequence of bondage. And they cried, and their complaint went up to God in consequence of the bondage. And the Eternal heard our voice, as it is said. God heard their groaning, and God remembered his covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and with Jacob. And he saw our affliction. This denotes the separation from their wives, as it is said. And God saw the children of Israel, and God had knowledge of their affliction and our sorrow. This denotes the destruction of the male children, as it is said. Every son that is born you shall cast into the river, and every daughter you shall save alive. And our oppression. This denotes the severity employed, as it is said. And I have also seen the oppression wherewith the Egyptians oppressed them. And the Eternal brought us forth from Egypt, with a strong hand, with an outstretched arm, with great terror, and with signs and wonders. And the Eternal brought us forth from Egypt, not by means of an angel, not by means by a seraph, nor by means of a messenger. For the most holy blessed be he in his own glory, as it is said. I will pass through the land of Egypt in this night, and I will smite every firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast. And all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment, I am the eternal. I will pass through the land of Egypt, I myself am not an angel. And I will smite every firstborn, I myself am not a seraph. And on all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment, I myself am not a messenger. I the eternal, I am he and none other. With a strong hand, this refers to the pestilence, as it is said. Behold then, the hand of the eternal is upon a cattle which is in the field. Upon the horses, upon the asses, upon the camels, upon the oxen, and upon the sheep, a very grievous pestilence. And with an outstretched arm, this refers to the sword, as it is said, a drawn sword in his hand stretched out over Jerusalem. And with great terror, this refers to the appearance of the divine presence, as it is said. Or hath God tried to go and take unto him a nation, the events of another nation, by trials, by signs, and by wonders, and by war? And a strong hand, by an outstretched arm, and great terrors, according to all the eternal your God and you in Egypt. And with signs, this refers to the rod with which the miracles were performed, as it is said, that thou shalt take this rod in thy hand, wherewith thou shalt perform the signs. And with wonders, this refers to the plague of blood, as it is said, and I will show wonders in the heavens, and the earth, blood, and fire, and thorns of smoke. Another explanation is thus with a strong hand, in those two plagues, with an outstretched arm, two more, with great terror, two more, with signs, two more, and with wonders, two more. These are the ten plagues with which the most holy blessed be he brought upon the Egypt, in Egypt, vis-a-vis. -vis. This joke, this joke, this joke, this joke, this joke, the plagues that were uh, brought upon Egypt because they wouldn't let the people out. It, this is really telling me story. Okay, Don. Safaria, Dini, Aro, Deber, Shaheen, Barad, Arbe, Osha, Makas, Kaboro. Rabbi, oh, Rabbi Yehuda formed the initials thus. Detzah, Adash, Be'achad. Rabbi Jose the Galilean said, no, 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 From whence canst thou assert that the Egyptians were smitten with ten plagues of Egypt, and in the Red Sea, they were smitten with fifty plagues. He thus answered, Of Egypt it is said, The magician said unto Pharaoh, This is the finger of God. 
but of the seed instead. And Israel saw the mighty hand, wherewith the Eternal smote the Egyptians, and believed in the Eternal, and in his servant Moses. If by the finger only they were smitten with ten plagues in Egypt, it may be deduced that in the Red Sea they were smitten with fifty plagues. Rabbi Eliezer said, From whence can be deduced that every plague which the most holy thus be brought upon the Egyptians in Egypt consisted of four different plagues? Because it is said, He sent forth against them the fierceness of His anger, wrath, indignation, and trouble, a band of evil, evil angels. Wrath is one, indignation two, trouble three, and a band of evil angels four.